Hello ladies, happy, what's today, Thursday. So today we are um, still focusing on um, how to melt proof your makeup this summer and I'm gonna show you a way to melt proof your eyeshadow today. Um, eyeshadow is one of those things that of course if you spend time doing it, you want it to stay perfect. And this is a great product for really anybody, but especially for those of us who, number one, may experience some extra oil on the eyelid area. You may not have an oily face, but for some reason you might have extra oil on your lids. Number two, if you tend to have deep set eyes or hooded eyes, you may find some challenges with your eyeshadow from time to time. So that's another reason why you might want to consider using this product. And if you're catching me live, hey Michelle, please say hi. And if you are watching a replay, please make sure you type replay, because I know some of you were asking me about this product. So today I'm showing you the Mary Kay Eyeshadow Primer. And I know I've showed this to you um, in one of my events recently, but I just want to show it to you. A little bit of this goes a very long way. I'm going to do one eye, I'm just going to apply this from my lid all the way to my eyebrow. I don't have an extra mirror in front of me, so um, hopefully I can do this with the camera mirror pretty well. So I just put this all over my lid to my entire eyebrow area. If I didn't already have my brows on, I would have also applied it in my brow hair because um, sometimes you might have problems with your brow area not staying put either. So if you have that challenge, this is a waterproof formula that keeps your eye makeup from fading, from creasing, and it makes the color more vibrant, and it waterproofs it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on one eye with it and one eye without it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start my makeup. I always like to use the liquid eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do the liquid eyeshadow on both eyes. Just do it real quick. Um, oh, I've got some lighting. When the sun comes out in the window, it makes the lighting a little funky. Okay, so I just put a little bit of the Light Beam Liquid Eyeshadow on this eye to start. I always start my eyeshadows with the Light Beam just because I like that little bit of um, brightener to my eye. And I just love how it gives me a light, light, light shimmer um, without being too heavy. So there we go. You can, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so... This is the one with the primer, this is the one without the primer. So now what you're gonna notice is how it makes the colors look more vibrant. And that's the most important thing when we have our makeup on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick, let me grab my palette. I'm gonna do a, a pinkish color because I think it will show up better on the camera. I'm gonna do the, I'm using sunlit, I'm using one of the rose, dusty rose. So here it is on the eye with the primer. And if you are somebody who struggles with your shadows creasing, because maybe you have hooded eyes, this is a great product for you, okay? It's gonna keep everything from creasing and fading and just makes everything stay put. So here, that's that one color with the primer on the eye. Now I'm purposely not blending it all right now so you can kind of see what it looks like on the eye without the primer and versus the primer. So hopefully this color picks up the on camera well. We shall see, we shall see. So I'm just doing both eyes, okay? And what it also does, it has a conditioner in it to help your, um, help your skin look more, um, what's the right word, softer and smoother. And let's see here, let me try to blend this one a little bit more so you can see it. So what this really, no what you really notice is like if you use a bright color, like a green or a blue or a purple, um, let me see, can you see, that? okay, you can probably see that now. Can you see how this one looks bolder than this one? And that's because this has the primer on it. So let me blend this one too, so it looks even. So you can see the difference between this one has the primer, this one does not have the primer, and this one looks just bolder and it has more color pigment to it. That's one of the things I love about it so much is that it really makes the colors pop. And of course, if I added more color to this, another shade on top of it, it would do the same thing. I'm just gonna take a lighter color and just kind of tap it into the corner of my eye here just to kind of make it simple and blend it out. I'll do the same thing on the other eye to make sure I'm even before I do my shadow, uh, my liner and my mascara, okay? So you can see the difference, I'm probably, oh yeah, you can totally see the difference. 
This one has primer, this one doesn't. So it makes the colors more vibrant, it makes the colors stay, it helps your um, eyes um, look softer. Another tip I can give you with the primer is you can use your smudger brush and you can put a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of the eyeshadow primer um, on the tip of this brush. And I know some of you have, we've discussed issues with eyeliner as well. So if you have, um, so the thing is, is when we smile, our skin goes up, right? So if you have a lot of moisture here, it's easy to have whatever's under here go down. So using things like this, where you can just go, I'm just putting a thin layer of it along my lash line right here, that's gonna help keep my um, eyeliner in place if I had that problem. I don't have that problem, but if you do have that problem, I know I gave this tip to somebody and she said it works really well. So just lining a little bit of the primer along your lash line and then lining your eyes is gonna help keep it more primed and less movable because our eye area is the most sensitive part on our face. And because the sebaceous glands, there's less collagen through here and there's less elastin through here. So this is why we don't have as many glands also through here. And the fat pad under here as we age gets thinner. So the eye shows more dark circles. It just has more issues in general. So anything we can do to keep our eyes looking melt proof perfect in the summer, I think is really important. So those of you who are just joining us, I put the eyeshadow primer on this eye and I did not put it on this eye, and I put my shadows on top of it, so what it does is it conceal, not conceals, it keeps it from fading, makes the color more vibrant, and it waterproofs the eyeshadow, keeps it from creasing, so if you tend to have hooded eyes or deep set eyes, and you struggle with that, this is a great product for you, and they're only 12 bucks, so it's one of those things that will last a long time, because so little bit goes a long way. So if you have any struggles with your shadows not staying put, direct message me and we can talk about the options for you. And thanks for watching, ladies. I'm gonna finish doing the rest of my makeup and I am gonna wash this eye off so that it matches this eye because I don't wanna look um, lopsided all day because <laughs> I can see the difference. So thanks for watching, ladies. Have a great day.